hello vlog channel a long time no see um today um i just wanted to talk about everything that's going on before i return to my vlog channel as if everything is normal if you're not on my patreon you're probably really confused and i apologize if you are a viewer of mine and you feel like i'm shutting you out and i'm kind of updating patreon everything and i'm not updating you guys and i just want to let you know that's not the case i'm not meaning to do that um patreon is just more of a space where I feel more comfortable and it's safer for me and um, you know YouTube is one of those places that I kind of upload and I don't read the comments because it can ruin my entire day or it can make me stop uploading or give up or it alters my mind when I read YouTube comments um, they're not all mean but a uh, majority of them I just I just physically can't read this one the comments will probably be off of um, I just don't read comments because they really, really mess with my brain and they really make me overthink things and sometimes I'll upload a video and I don't see a problem and then there's comments pointing out a problem and then I realize the problem and then it's just a huge spiral. So, obviously, you guys have probably seen um, and heard about my breakup and obviously when I uploaded my previous video there was somebody in there and people caught on pretty quickly which I knew was going to happen and you guys might feel like I you know haven't been uploading and stuff so I want to kind of explain my situation and what's been what's going to happen moving forward and so that there's no surprises I was literally editing a vlog and as I was editing and I was like I can't post this and just act like nothing is happening and acting like there's no questions because a lot of people are asking questions and there's a lot of things that I want to talk about. So there's obviously two sides to every single story. And I know from seeing it from like the outside, it can seem very bad or toxic or whatever, or whatever the case may be. And I'm assuming you guys follow me on Instagram and saw that I have a boyfriend. And let's just start off with YouTube and the vlog channel and why I haven't been uploading. And then we'll get on to, it kind of merges into my private life. So Obviously, the breakup happened, and I just physically could not do anything for about two weeks. I was literally bawling, crying, trying to get his stuff out of my house, um, just going through it. I was nonstop crying, and one thing that I will give myself props is I haven't been masking it with alcohol, um, which I'm very proud of myself for. Obviously, I've drink, drink a few times, but I'm not nearly as bad as I was during my first public breakup um, where I was like traveling and just kind of not giving a shit um, about anything. Um, I've been doing this in a kind of more healthy way I, I would like to think um, and I just there's a lot of days where I might think I'm okay. Right now I like obviously this past like week or two I've been a lot better and I feel like every day is fine now. I feel like I'm kind of over it but obviously when it did happen there were days where I woke up and I felt like everything was fine and then halfway through the day I would have a breakdown or I would see something in the house that reminded me of, of us or I would realize that it's a day that I, we would have Ella or something along those lines that would really I guess get to me and then um I kind of would spiral out of control and then I would overthink and then I would kind of just sit there all day and so sometimes I would be productive and then not productive and vice versa um and it's just one of those things where you just don't know how you're gonna feel and a lot of people are saying like well how is it fair that you get to just stop working because you're going through a breakup when real life people if they're sad they still have to go to work so obviously that's two different things um in my opinion i obviously am trying to work through my sadness but also being my own boss i have the the opportunity and i have the privilege and i am able to do that and if I feel like it, I'm allowed to, right? And I'm not I'm not obligated to post if I don't feel like it. I do it because I want to and I do it because I enjoy doing it. And when I'm vlogging or when I'm recording or doing a Zoom call or a P Patreon Live or anything along those lines where I don't feel like doing it, it's miserable. For me, it's miserable for you. You can tell that I don't want to do it. It's just not a good time. My whole entire job is to be Carly Steele, be energetic, be happy. Obviously, there's some sad points to it and it's raw and real but it's a lot different than like sitting there at a desk or sitting there do, doing something that is kind of doesn't involve your personality you know and I'm not saying every single person like there are teachers that have to go to work when they're going through breakups and divorces and I get it and you know that's a really hard job to be and I, I get it I get that there's there's people that do jobs that 
are like mine where it involves their personality or they have to act happy when they're not or they're in customer service. I get it. But like I said, I have the privilege of not having to go to work and just because not everyone has that privilege doesn't mean I'm not allowed to use it because I worked my ass off to get where I am and I chose this and I sometimes need a break for my mental health because going through a breakup alone is very tough but going through it in front of thousands of people where there's opinions and there's people sending you stuff that you don't want to see or there's people picking sides or, or, or sending you a long message saying you're a shitty person when they have no idea what was going on personally and I get it because when you look on it from the outside, it looks awful, but there's so much more that goes into it that I feel like a lot of people just don't know. And I feel like my mature audience is understanding that or while my younger audience really isn't grasping it. And I just needed a break and I needed to deal with it on my own and I'm feeling better and I feel like I want to be back. But that being said, I still wasn't ready to come back to YouTube because YouTube at the end of the day is a very harsh place. And to be honest, I'm doing YouTube because it's my roots and I'll probably never leave it, but it's not something that makes me as happy as it once used to because of the comments and because of how ridiculing people on YouTube could be and how awful the comments can be on on here. It does take a very strong person to do YouTube, um, whether you think of it, it, it is hard or not. It's thousands of thousands of thousands of hate comments a daily and people judging you and people um basically giving you an opinion on a relationship that they weren't in and it could be very very annoying and and tough and so sometimes when i am going through it, the last place i want to be on is youtube and i'm sorry to say that but i do feel better now and i do feel like coming back um i have recorded two podcasts if you guys follow me over on my main channel it's kind of my podcast uh thing now i on my main channel i upload my podcast um the video podcast and the last two times I recorded it when we I came back about two weeks ago and we recorded it and the camera was completely laggy so I had to order a new lens that costed me about like four or five hundred dollars ordered a new lens we re-recorded this Friday Josh was in them which is my new boyfriend um which I'll talk about as well that I I, I just have to rip the band-aid off and say it um because it's clearly obvious and um what else was I gonna say oh yeah and then um, I recorded it and the audio, not the audio, the video file just keeps on corrupting and crashing me in six program. So we're trying to figure that out right now. I did release the audios over on Patreon. So the audios are out um, and there's two podcasts over with Josh, but there's no, Josh is the new, my new boyfriend, by the way, not like Jay Bish. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's one of those things where I'm trying to do those things and everything just keeps spiraling out of control and it's making me go insane. One minute, I need to put the AC on just for, or like open the door for like a minute. Okay guys, sorry, I really needed that. It's like 95 here or something. Okay, so um, yeah, that being said, um, if you're over on my Patreon, I uploaded two Q and A's with Josh and I also uploaded the hour story. And um, like I said, there's two sides to every story and I think I think a lot of people are judging and, and being judgy when they shouldn't be um, because at the end of the day, it's not their life. And at the end of the day, I know my truth. I know how I felt. I know that I tried whatever, whatever, vice versa, you know? And um, I just want to say that I know it seems like, I guess I just jumped into another relationship and I guess I did, but I think a lot of people can relate to this while being checked out mentally is is something that like you can't help I tried and I begged and I tried and I cried and nothing worked and there's a certain point where you just give up and you're mentally not there but you're physically still there because you live together and it's comfortable and so a lot of people are saying like oh you moved on so fast but you were just crying over him and I kind of compared it to this it's like it's like when you leave a job because you get offered a promotion or you, or you leave a job because you want to follow your dreams or you leave your job because you know it will make you happier or you leave your job because you're doing something for you. It's a promotion or it's a, it's a better position or it's a different place or you want to explore or change options. So it's one of those things where you're comfortable in your job, you love your coworkers, you, um, you love the job you're at, 
but in order for you to grow in life you need to move on and be at a different job um and it's one of those things where it's bittersweet you are doing it for you but at the end of the day you're going to miss your coworkers. you're going to be upset that you're leaving your job you're going to be nervous you're going to be scared and you're going to grieve your old job you're going to miss your coworkers and all of that it's the same thing in relationships and in real life i'm allowed to be upset over my previous loss and be excited and be looking forward to my future by myself or with someone else and i think a lot of people couldn't comprehend the fact that i was upset over it while living my best life and it's it's one of those things that you just have it, it, you have to be going through it to understand it and at the end of the day that was my ex-fiance and we did have a, a family and we were going to have a family and we were going to get married and so it's bittersweet um i feel so much stress gone in my life i feel very free i feel very me again and i missed that when i was with him but at the same time i'm sad and i'm grieving the loss of my fiance so it's one of those things where it's bittersweet and it's just one of those things that you can't really understand unless you're in it and at the end of the day you guys only saw probably what four minutes of my relationship every couple days it wasn't even full like and yeah, I think you guys could tell by the end that he wasn't really in the vlogs like there were some comments saying like oh it's called Carly and Josh but it's really just Carly and I think you guys could just tell I think it was very obvious I think we knew that it was coming I think I wish it would have happened in a different way but it didn't and um I'm not gonna sit here and explain myself but all I want you guys to know is that I'm super super happy and um I couldn't really vlog because I was with Josh um we just started dating like a couple days ago officially but I was with Josh and I couldn't post about him if I wasn't if I didn't tell you guys first and so I have a boyfriend and I'm very very happy and our story is on patreon if you want to know how we met and we only started talking like I guess a couple weeks ago but we already we already are in a relationship and I know it seems fast but you know Josh is doing his own thing and I'm not gonna disclose what he's doing but he's doing the same thing I'm doing so he also has his own thing going on so my just because mine is public and I'm being judged I think you guys need to realize that there's two things to you know every story and um, I could sit here all day and expose everything that happened um, but I'm not going to and I think I think he knew that I, I could do that and I think that's why it's kind of slowed down because I was being very very nice by not opening my mouth very nice and I think at the end of the day I wish him the best but um, I'm thriving and I love my life right now and I'm super super happy and I just want you guys to know that at the end of the day I am happy and I really really want to feel comfortable bringing Josh onto YouTube and I really want to feel comfortable sharing my life openly without judgments and I feel like I feel like obviously it's bound to happen because I'm on YouTube but I feel like at the end of the day I think you guys need to remember that you think you know everything but you don't and you think you know exactly what happened but I promise you you don't and I think people really need to put in perspective that at the end of the day you guys are only seeing a couple glimpses of my life and everything could be twisted to benefit whoever is saying it okay and I'm not saying I'm in the right I'm not I think me and Josh were both in the wrong but I think there's things that both of us did to contribute to this and I think it's over with and I and I just want to move on from it and I want to be able to bring my boyfriend around without getting ripped apart for it because at the end of the day I am the happiest I've ever been and I can't I try to keep my relationships private but it just doesn't work out because my whole life is on camera and if I'm out vlogging stuff how am I supposed to hide that I'm with someone I, I tried to do it my last vlog and it just didn't work out everyone knew that he was there so once again it's one of those things that I just cannot hide and I just want to be able to do it comfortably and if you support me you do if you don't you don't but I, I hope you can maybe think a step take a step back think about it and kind of put yourself in my shoes and realize that you don't see everything like you think you do um also i started a of 
and OnlyFans and that has been making me really happy and I know a lot of people are also are saying like I think she's doing this like out of spite and it's not out of spite and it's something that I really enjoy doing I've always been a very sexual person I've always I did nude modeling when I was like 18 like right when I turned 18 I was nude modeling um, I've always been super comfortable with my body and I've always wanted to take control of being um sexualized i've wanted to kind of take control of it and i love it and if you want to come and support girls come over um and support me but yeah i just wanted to say this all before i continued vlogging as normal and i don't want to hide anything from you because at the end of the day you guys have been through it all you guys went through my first public breakup you guys were there before i was even with connor you guys were here so so some of you guys are here from you now which is insane that was like six years ago i've been doing this for so so long and at the end of the day i don't think i'm ever gonna stop even if i had to get a normal job i think i'd continue to vlog and i think i'd continue to post but i just want to say oh my god i need to turn this on anyways guys it's really hot in here and i keep rambling but um i just want to say i love you and um i that was the reasoning for me not coming around and coming back. I was just nervous and I didn't want to just, you know, act like and just hide things. I just didn't want to. I just feel like I can't do that and I don't want to do that. And at the end of the day, this is my channel and this is my life that I'm vlogging. And if you don't agree with it, I'm sorry. Um, but like I said, just try to remember that I'm a human being and I'm not just a YouTuber and I know I'm a good person and I know who I am and I know that I've tried everything and I know I'm a giving person and um, if there is anything that you guys want to know a lot of it's over on patreon and it's only five dollars it's literally cheaper than a Starbucks drink um, and it's I, I don't mean to put stuff over there because I'm being cruel or because I want your money it's genuinely I made it the cheapest I could be which was five dollars it's genuinely because it's a safe space for me and it's something that uplifts me and I feel comfortable getting even if people don't agree and they have their opinions they say it in a respectful way um, that is mature and that we can have an open debate about or an open conversation about whereas here it's just awful and ridiculing and destroying and ripping me apart and thinking they know things when they don't and not even letting me speak and it's just too much so um, like I said I love you I love you so so much and I am going to come back and you know be here as normal but i just needed you guys to be a little bit patient with me and kind of understand what i'm doing but yeah i love you guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being patient with me and for all the people that have been here throughout all of my years i really really appreciate it because without you i have no idea where i'd be and i just i love you guys so so much and i appreciate every single one of you and i hope i don't disappoint you and i hope that we can live our best lives together and if if I if both of my public breakups can hopefully inspire you to leave an unhappy relationship I hope I hope I do because if I could get through those public ones that were fucking brutal in front of thousands of people I'm I'm sure you guys could get through it too and I I hope this is kind of a sign for you to leave if you're unhappy because you guys have seen me be more and more happy with every relationship I get into and I hope this is my last one obviously I can't say that for sure but I hope this is my last one and I am so happy I'm so happy every single day I am happy and I feel so not stressed and I just fucking love it so I love you guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video Bye.